brother. brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Ben, where today we will be taking on the ultimate Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows trivia quiz. I think we're supposed to call it book seven. Oh, you Did think you just gave away one of the answers? You Quick, might. forgot I said that. Okay, done. <laughs> In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the camera. You can't see her, but she is in fact waving and she's going to be reading us today's 10 standard quiz questions, plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. As ever, Ben and I will have to answer all of the questions completely from memory, but if we agree, we have no idea we can get the multiple choice from Kangaroo Cat. Ben, are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the name of the seventh Harry Potter book? Oh, oh man. I'm so shocked that this question was on this quiz. Wow, totally shocking. Definitely not the first time this has happened. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, it one, will be the last, two, though. three. The Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. Woo, yes, that is Boom. correct. Excellent. Yeah, no problem there. Yep. A freebie, if you will. Yep. I, will, I will say that for the longest time as a child when that book was released, I thought that the Hallows were like the like a place of like execution. Oh. Huh. Is that a Yeah, because it took you a while to read the seventh book, yeah. right? Or something. Yeah, I, I didn't actually finish reading the seventh book until after we started Super Carlin Brothers. That's crazy. It is. It, yeah. And now I've read it so many <clears throat> times. Yeah. So oh, I think a hallow is just like a holy object. I, I like, hallowed yeah. be thy name, so, you know. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure, yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Question two. When Harry left Privet Drive for the first time, what spell did he use that re revealed he was the true Harry and not a decoy? Oh, okay. Aha, yes, 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 okay. I knew you knew this one. This this has to do with one of my all-time favorite fan theories. Yeah. You ready? One, two, three. Expelliarmus! Expelliarmus! Expelliarmus is the correct. Yeah, my, is. The, the fan theory is that Harry Potter is secretly in love with Stan Shunpike. You think? Yeah. Because he's just you like- it? Yeah, You ship it? You bust it? I, I bust it. Yeah, bust in it, fact, yeah. and I go one step further. No, it, it's just like, Harry gets so, so, so hung up on Stan Shunpike. He's like, yeah. Still got Stan Trumpuck in prison, do ya? <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. it. That yeah. this is the like I've always felt like there, there surely is something else that you know what is doing. You know wrong. what else? After the Quidditch World Cup, they're like walking back to the tents, and like there's Stan hitting on Avila, and Harry is like, "That's Stan hitting on someone." It's like, what the hell? I thought we had He's a like, thing. Wow. I thought we had a thing. Okay. So I bought your toothbrush. And now it's time for the first Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Andrew Buick and voted on by patrons. Which pair were supposed to arrive first at the borough after leaving Privet Drive? Oh, oh man. man. Okay, who's supposed to arrive first at the borough? Okay, okay, okay. All right, now let me think about it. They were supposed to arrive immediately after you, said Ginny. Right, yes. Um. Uh, mm, is that? It Let's can't see. be. Is it? Was it? Maybe, maybe it's this. Oh yeah, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think it might be this. Okay, you ready? Yeah, maybe. Ready? 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 Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Is it Bell and Slam. It is not, it is oh. Ron and Tonks. Ron and Tonks? Man, We're Ron. supposed to arrive first. I thought that it was Bill and Fleur because she was like, uh, they were going to- Anti-Muriel. Anti-Muriel, so like, oh. Muriel's not far from here. Maybe that's, maybe that's probably where Ron and Tonks are supposed to be here. Cause I think, or Bill and Fleur just going to Shell Cottage. Though. Well, no, cause they're no. not- No, they're they not don't married. have it yet. Yeah, yeah. you're right, duh. duh. Never mind, wow, Man, getting okay. ahead of myself. Well, I even felt like I had solid logic behind my answer. I was like, yeah. oh, I know, I remember. Question number four. When Umbridge was in possession of the locket, what did she claim the S on the front stood for? Before we go on to this question, Jay, I have a, I have a question for you. Oh. Where can we get that lovely shirt you're sporting? This awesome, magically inspired Super Carlin Brothers shirt. The first in a series of seven shirts featuring like chess pieces and potions and this awesome mirror and a rock in the middle of it. <laughs> Man, the answer, Ben, would be at patreon.com slash Super Carlin Brothers at the Super Carlin Shirt Club tier. Wow, it's like we planned it. Man. Completely authentic 
Galactic Exchange that just went down. Yes, the shirts come out quarterly. There will be seven of these. This is the first one. If you sign up by the end of March, you will get this one. So, who is Umbridge lying about being her pure bloodiness? I think I got it. I think yeah, I, I don't know. How, I don't know if I know how to spell uh, I it. I got it. But I think I got it. Yeah, no okay. doubt. Ready? Yeah. Un, dos, trois. Selwyn. Selwyn. Yeah. Selwyn is correct. She's such a liar, liar. Plants for hire. That's Plants for, for hire. Darn certain. We're having a lot of a lot of SpongeBob ooh, references a lot of today. SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just one of those days. We, it's in the air. You know, when it's in the air, it's in the air. To the yeah. air. That was pretty bad. No, I loved it. Yeah, it was <laughs> <laughs> I just went for it. I went, ah, there we go. Oh, no. That was better. Better, yeah. It's right I wouldn't even try. You would know. Liar. Question five. Where were Harry and Hermione camping when Harry saw the silver dough? Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, but. Um, oh, you got this. Come on. I know I do. They are in. Okay, got it. You got it. You thinking of it? Think Go there it. in your mind, man. I know. I'm See the it. dough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Watch it emerge. I even know why Snape knows to send it here Harry's. because Phineas Nigellus yeah. overhears Correct. where they are That's when she right. opens the bag, mm-hmm. and then he goes and tells Snape they're in the blank headmaster. Oh man! Okay, oh, I think yeah. I got it. I you got, I got it. it. All Ready? right. One, two, three. The Forest of Dean. The Forest of Dean. Not Thomas is correct. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I feel like I l- legitimately uh, almost called it the Dean Forest. The Dean Forest. Oh, no. I was like, I feel like like the Dean, the, the Dean of the Hogwarts. Dean. Phineas no. not jealous. Right. The exactly. Forest of Dean, where they don't run into Dean Thomas, but a different forest where they do run into Dean Thomas. It seems purposely confusing. It does feel that way. And now it's time for the second Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Emily Stock and voted on by patrons. What riddle did Professor McGonagall answer to enter Ravenclaw Tower? Okay. Okay, okay. I'd be very curious to know what the other multiple choice options that- I can, I can read them when we're done. That Eastock came up with for this because this would be a very tricky one to attempt to come up with clever other, other. ones. Yes, yeah. it would, you're right. All right, well, okay, I got ready? it. One, two, three. Which came first, the Phoenix the Flame? Where do vanished objects oh, go? No, it right. is this where do is... vanished objects go? No. Which came first, the this Phoenix or the, the Flame? Is one of the, the is one of the uh, wrong multiple choice. That's so annoying. Oh no! The circle has no <laughs> beginning. The circle has a well reasoned. Well reasoned. Man, yeah. I felt so I was so confident. I was you so did. Confident. Oh man. That's well, the, the other uh, other than the Phoenix one, the <clears> other <throat> multiple choice answers were. Take away the hole and some still remains. What is it? And what gets broken without being held? Wow, those are really fantastic. Those are great alternate, riddles. Yeah, <laughs> those are good. O- options. Yeah. Question seven. Which Death Eater does the Golden Trio encounter in Diagon Alley before they rob Gringotts? Mm-hmm. I think I know. It's one of, one of those random oh. Death Eaters. Oh, no. Is this right? Oh, this might not be right. No. Gold, filthy gold. Oh, my gosh. That's what is he says. This right? And I'm like, it's okay. Like would like gold. I think this is right. Okay. But That's... if I changed it from the right answer, it would be so One, bad. two, yeah. three. Travers. Travers. It is Travers. Oh, oh, man. I put down Yaxley at first, and I was like, no. Oh. Wait. Now wait one minuto. Wait yeah, what, just that... one second. Okay, question eight. When captured and taken to Malfoy Manor, what fake name did Harry give? Oh. Oh, um, I think that's right. Unless it's unless it's that. I know. Yeah, it's. I it, I think I know what you're what you're all doing. The order does count. It does. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it has to. But okay, okay, I'm good. I'm I'm locked. I'm locking it in. Okay. 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 All right. Ugh. I changed it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Vernon Dudley. I said Dudley Vernon. It's Vernon Dudley. Yes! <laughs> back Man, to, back to a tie. 
That's how I had it written the first time. I don't know why order matters. That's ridiculous. What do you mean? What? Because it's what? a first name and a last name. It's not Potter, yeah. Harry, and the Philosopher's Stone, man. No, it's not. <laughs> but also, it's like, of all of the random names that he could have possibly given, it's like, knowing what the names are. Yeah. Like, I mean, they call them by that. You know what? Like, I'm, 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 on that note, right I'm back. just, I'm not even having it. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Well, well, it's not quite as scenic today. It's a little bit foggy, isn't it? But that also sort of matches my mood at the moment. Vernon Dudley. Dudley Ver I don't even actually remember which one is even the right answer at this point. Either which way, though, you guys know the drill. The scenic route means one thing. I'm telling you about today's sponsor, which happens to be MeUndies. Now, first and absolute foremost, I must say, if there's anything that brings me comfort while I'm facing inevitable loss in a round of trivia, it's actual comfort, thanks to MeUndies. And I've got to tell you, it's the it's raining. It's raining. I think we can get this done before it rains worse. MeUndies is the perfect sponsor for this time of year as we get closer to Valentine's Day because their products are essentially the embodiment of love. Because not only do their super soft undies and loungewear make you feel lovely, exhibit A. I, I slipped a little bit, but I hope the feeling of lovely came through adequately. But they are also a really good way to show yourself and your loved ones just how much you care for them. Seriously, what better way to feel love than to be in cozy matching PJs with your entire family? It's the best. Especially since their new limited edition Valentine's Day set of MeUndies is now available and you can get 20% off when you head on over to MeUndies.com slash J versus B. I personally just love MeUndies. I feel like I was looking for really comfortable underwear for a very long period of time and there's just no comparison with any other brand. And one of the best parts is that as my own personal drawer was starting to get full because I've now been a subscriber for many years, my wife was getting increasingly jealous and it was so easy to simply switch the subscription for me over to her. So now she gets to enjoy me undies too. And on that note, don't forget, love is supposed to be fun. Whether you love someone else or are practicing self-love, MeUndies has super comfortable and cute undies, bralettes, loungewear, and more in flirty new prints this V-Day season. Comfort is the cutest, so get matching with someone you love or just match with your favorite furry friend. Available in sizes XS to 4X, they have something for everyone to fall in love with. It's really starting to come down now. So let me wrap up quickly. Don't forget, you can get 20% off your first order and free shipping and chat with their amazing cheek squad when you head on over to MeUndies.com slash J versus B. Did you get that? That's, that's, that's cheek squad. That's that's hilarious and amazing. One last time, MeUndies.com slash J versus B for 20% off your first order and free shipping. Link is in the description down below. All right, well, I guess while Ben's away, I should probably do an ad read or something like that, which I guess today, let's see it. Uh, you guys, it's the first DoorDash ad of 2023. I mean, my resolution was to not eat cake this year, but you know what they say. Resolutions are meant to be broken and it's done. Where's my flork? Found it. Now let's see, let's. Man, that was terrible. Let's go. Oh, for what? This is the true beauty of DoorDash, guys. You just ask yourself, what do I want to eat tonight? Is it a home-cooked favorite? Is it groceries? Is it an entire cake just for you? Because it could be. But whatever it is, you can get that from DoorDash without having to leave your house at all. And it doesn't just have to be restaurants. Like I said groceries, but don't limit yourself to just thinking about food. It could also be household essentials. It could be essential cakes, whatever you want. The sky's the limit or you know whatever they have at the store. And it's all delivered in under an hour, which means right now, if you open your phone, you too could have an entire cake just for yourself in less than an hour. And not only are you getting the stuff that you love, but you're also helping support your community because they have over 300,000 partners. Meaning you can support your favorite local go-tos or, you know, big national chains like Popeyes or Chipotle or, you know, like Cheesecake Factory. That's not where this is from, but it is a nice joke. And it gets better because for a limited time, our viewers can get up to 50% off, up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app today and enter promo code JVerseBet. Again, that is 50 
50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app today and enter promo code JVerseBen. 50% off up to a $20 value, zero delivery fees, promo code JVerseBen. Link is in the description down below. Kind of simmered down a little bit. I feel a little bit better. Not a lot, but not a lot. Yeah. Not a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's time for the third quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Snape's cat and Andrew Buick. Which form does Kingsley's Patronus take? Ha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Does Ready? spelling matter? Does the order matter? I mean, it's it's a, it's an animal, so yeah, spelling matters. Order. <laughs> what? <laughs> not order, but like. Spelling doesn't matter. Okay. I, th I think you'll spell it right. Yeah. It's okay. Three, two, one. A lynx. A lynx. Yes, yeah, a lynx. <laughs> With a Y N K S. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. okay. L I N X. Question number 10. This is a fun one. Uh, what does Hermione exclaim in frustration upon hearing, upon learning Snape has been named headmaster? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, is this one it? Does grammar matter? No. <laughs> yes. Okay. You're being very inconsistent with what matters. <laughs> yes, grammar matters. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Merlin's pants. Merlin's pants. Did you get the apostrophe? Yeah. There's supposed to be an exclamation point, <clears throat> but I'll give it to you. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I mean, you gotta get the possessive, otherwise you'd think you're referring to- You did get the possessive. Someone part. named Merlin's. Merlin's. No. Merlin's pants. Merlin's pants. This is my friend Merlin's. Yeah. Merlin's. Question 11. What wood was the wand that Ron managed to take from the Snatchers made from? Mm, okay, hold the phone. Let me think about it. It was not this, I don't think. <clears throat> Is that right? Mm, um, okay, wait. <laughs> Let's, uh, from the Snatchers? From the Snatchers. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like be. I'm in the zip code yeah. of, a, of, a, of a right answer. Right. So like, this you know, if you were the, getting directions, you'd be in like the, the adjacent town. Right there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like cause... technically part of the same municipality, but like pay taxes differently. Exactly. Zip codes have changed. Yeah. yeah. The, Different school. The, this, this doesn't seem right either. I can't see your screen, so I don't know. Well, I'm just, the people can see it so they can join my thought process. I don't think no. that's right. This, this, I'm pretty sure this isn't it, but I don't have a better guess. I'm sticking with my answer. I'm sticking with it. I, I'm i locked in, let's go. There's a small part of me that thinks that it could be this. <sighs> I think I think this is wrong, but I can't think of it either. Okay, okay. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Hawthorne. I said black, black it thorn. Is black thorn. Oh my god. Okay, look, you can see that. I said black you wood. Did. I said black wood. Oh. And I was like, that's not a thing. Oh, black. Man. It's black thorn. Ben black. surges ahead. But it's is it, it Draco's is Hawthorne. Draco's yes. is Hawthorne. So it goes from thorn to thorn. It does yeah. go from It's thorn like they were to setting thorn. up this quiz it is 20 like years in advance. They were they were like, you know what's gonna be really difficult? This question someday. And now it's time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Logan A and voted on by patrons. Which of the following were confirmed safe houses for Harry's evacuation from Privet Drive? Oh boy, okay, okay. all right. Okay. A, Remus's house. B, Auntie Muriel's house. C, the Tonks's house. D, Mundungus's house. E, Mad Eye's house. F, Kingsley's house. G, Grimold Place. And H, the Burrow. Roll back the scene in my mind. What's happening? I know there is. Hagrid's having trouble fitting through a door <laughs> for like that. several pages. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking some brandy. For Drinking some fire whiskey. Medicinal purposes, of course. Of course, of course. Um, I'm trying to think whether or not I'm stuck on one. Okay. Okay. All right. Three, yep. two, one. I said just said B, C, and H. Oh man, I said everything except for Mundungus and Grimald. Um, both of those are incorrect. Um, ben was correct, except Remus's is not. <coughs> Remus's is not? Yep. Man. So what is the full list? The list is Auntie Muriel's house, yeah. the Tonks's house, Mad Eye's house, Kingsley's house, and the Burrow. This is like one of those things where it's like, again, it comes down to like why I know the information or like how I'm going about handling the information. Yeah. It's like trying to sort it in this way, like makes less sense, but it's like, well, of course I knew that they suspect Snape at that point. Yeah. So it's like, 
I don't know why. I gotta get the pathways yeah. right. I can't remember them like referencing Mad Eye's house or Kingsley's house or anything like that. Though. Yeah, that's what made me question it is I don't remember the I don't remember them mentioning Kingsley's yeah. house in particular. Yeah. Okay. I assume yeah. they don't even have houses. You know, they just sort of exist. <laughs> <laughs> they out in the wizard world. It's like teachers. It's like yeah, it's like Magano. Like you have a house. <laughs> like yeah. when you're a kid, they're just at the school. You see your teacher <laughs> out in the wild. You're like, like what is <laughs> happening? Aren't you supposed to be at school? Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Question thirteen: What was the name of the goblin that Harry cast the Imperious Curse on at Gringotts? The goblin he cast the Imperious. Okay, 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 okay. Oh man, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, um, is that right there? I would take multiple choice. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. All right, all right. Okay, A, Bogrod, B, Griphook, C, Gornuk, D, Ragnok. Okay, I have an answer. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, A. I said Bogrod, A. Yep. A yeah, Bogrod. Woo! Okay. Bogrod. Bogrod. <laughs> you got yeah. it. I'll, all it, is doesn't, well. it doesn't feel like a good bank manager's name. Bogrod. Bogrod. Yeah. 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 No, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like none of the goblins' names are bank manager names. <laughs> Question fourteen: In the Battle of Hogwarts, who was dueling Bellatrix before Molly Weasley stepped in? Oh man. Do you want a hint? No, I got it. Okay. Ba boom. No problem at all, man. No problem at all. Okay. I think. We'll see. Uh. <clears throat> One of them sort of like a, a, a gimme, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right? Okay, you know the hint that I was gonna give you then. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Ginny, Luna, and Hermione. Said Ginny, Luna, and Neville. It's Ginny, Luna, and Hermione. No, because all the girls. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh. All right, back yeah. to a tie. <laughs> I was yep. thinking that it was like the- Neville's big thing is the beheading of the snake. I know, but like it's also Bellatrix. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah. It does feel like they could have given Neville more of a like, I'm the one who killed Bellatrix. Plot line. It yeah. does feel like yeah. there's, there's that. Although Molly is, yeah. it's so it's cool. So it, yeah, good. like no one's complaining about that scene. <laughs> yeah. So there is that. Yeah. I always love it because, like, yeah, like Molly is like so sweet that it's like, on the whole, you don't really think of her as like just power mm -hmm. in the same way you do Bellatrix. Who, right. Like, clearly is like fierce. Right. Yeah. You know, like fangs out all the time. Mm -hmm. But I love it because it's like, no, just because Molly is kind doesn't mean she's not powerful. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's no, like- No one doubts her fierceness over her children. Right, yes. Yeah. 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 So anyway. Mama Bear's gonna step in. So this is this is for all the proverbial marbles, This is for all the proverbial marbles. Are we and tied? It is the, yes. Oh. And it is the final Quizmaster question of the game. Oh, oh boy. boy. Someone's about to be on my blacklist. This question was submitted by Tom A and voted on by patrons. No pressure, Tom. Tom A or Tom A. Tom space A. Gotcha. Tom, Tom A? I'm going with Tom A. Tom, Tom A. A. Like, Peaky Blinders. Yeah. <laughs> like Tom the, A, is that you? <laughs> like the like the green Power Ranger. Yeah. Tom A. Yeah. <laughs> so Tom, Tom, Tom A. Tom A Oliver. <laughs> anyway, let's see how this goes. Alrighty. Um, another goblin question. Who do the goblins claim the sword of Gryffindor was stolen from? Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. Okay, I think that's right. And his like t title. Oh, kind of. and title? Not title, but like, kinda. Well, I, but kinda. Um, I think I think I've got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. One. Two. Two and a half. <laughs> Said Ragnuk the first. Ragnuk the first. Ragnuk the first is correct. Boom! Oh, we got it. There nice. we go. Oh, man. I put Gornuk the first at first, and then I replaced. That was the... one of the the multiple choice. So yeah, I, was like, I, I was like, when she was reading the multiple choice for the other goblin names, I was like, Ragnuk. Nope, it's not him. He was the goblin with the sword. So like, I had like a, a nice little refresher. Oh there. yeah. But yeah. then it was like the. Armorer, <laughs> the, the blacksmith, <laughs> the first. 
first. So yeah, I went with first. Got it right. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah. I don't know if that's a title or just like a, you know? I think it's a title. Yeah. I think it's a title. Okay. Yeah, it must, It. I think it suggests there must be within goblin culture some amount of, um, Lineage, lineage, yeah. yeah, like like or the practice of naming. Yeah, this feels like, like I the, feel like when he was alive, he probably wasn't called. Ragnar well, yeah, this is like this is like right. an like annual like versus as, inaugural. Which is why problem. I'm like I don't know if that's a title or not. Like, you can't call like, yourself the first until there's a second, until, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or if you're Star Wars, you can't call yourself the fourth until there's a fifth. Yep. <laughs> and then just plan for one, two, three, and right. seven, eight, nine. Eventually, yeah. Later. Episode yeah. four, everyone it made sense to everyone right away. This is how numbers work. This anyway, yep. work. we we ended with a tie. We ended, we ended with a tie. With a tie. Bravo, oh, go well, us. Then. And now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Yeah, big shout out to everyone whose questions got in today's quiz, including Emily, Andrew, Tom A, Snapecat, and Logan A. If you would like to submit your own question to try to stump us in a future episode of Jaybert versus Ben, head on over to Patreon.com slash Super Carlin Brothers and select the Quiz Masters tier. Yeah, versus. <laughs> you heard that, huh? <laughs> also guys, don't forget while you're over on Patreon, we have the first of our magically inspired t-shirts available over at the Super Carlin Shirt Club. So if you want to get in, make sure you sign up by the end of March to uh, get this first one. We do have a whole set designed. There will be seven of them in total for each quarter as we go forward. So if you want to get in and collect them all, again, it's patreon.com slash Super Carlin Brothers. Link in the description down below. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also let us know how you did on the quiz in the towel section down below. If you'd like to see some more Harry Potter action from us and find out what if Petunia had been a witch, you can check out this video right here. But otherwise, until next time, bye. bye.